Hey everybody out there in Wimpit.net land, Kevin O'Brien are here, and uh, we're going to get started on the lab portion for the programming in C-sharp course. Very cool. So this is the first lab of the C-sharp course, and we're going to be showing you guys how to install Mono Develop and get a basic project running and say, hey buddy, in uh, Windows using Mono Develop. Absolutely. And then we're going to, after that, we're going to do an installation of Visual Studio. And we're going to be basically working mostly in Visual Studio, but we did want to make sure that we showed Mono Develop so that we, so that we can get across that, um, this whole C sharp nonsense is not just, you, you know, you can, you can develop software with outside of Visual Studio. Uh, we're also going to do a lab where we show how to do this in, uh, in Linux, just to kind of show that it's cross platform. Let's get started, Brian. We'll go Very to the exciting. desktop here on our Windows 8 box. Whoa! Whoa! That's a big old frog. That is a big frog. <laughs> he doesn't look too happy, though, does he? No, he he's, the water is wavy. The boat just drove by, and he's like, whoa! <laughs> I don't know if I would ride a boat in that area. It looks too shallow. Maybe like a, like a bass fishing boat? Like one of those flat ones? King, with the trolling motors? Yeah, okay. Yeah. The kind that you use to fish or something? Yep. Like where you cast little jitterbugs, and they <laughs> when you reel them back in. <laughs> So in, uh, in our buddy Google here, i just uh, looking up MonoDevelop, uh, MonoDevelop.com. So we'll just go to the main web page here. MonoDevelop 4.0, we'll hit the download now okay. button. Oh, you can do it in Linux, Mac OS X, Windows. Yep, yep. So down here you have, we have our two major platforms here, um, Windows, Mac OS X. We also have stuff for Ubuntu, Debian. Uh, we're going to be doing Ubuntu when we show Linux just because it's, it's the easiest one to show. Uh, so we'll go to the Windows packages. And the first thing we're going to do is install the .NET Framework 4.0, if you don't already have this installed. All right, so here we go. Let's, uh, we'll run this little fella here. So what the SDK provides is uh, developers. So SDK stands for Software Developers Kit, if for those who aren't aware. And what the Software Developer Kit for Windows does in particular is it basically exposes an API to the Windows-specific type of functionality. So through the Windows Software Development Kit, you can get access to things like you know, if it if you hadn't had it provided through something like the .NET Framework, you'd get it, you know, to be able to create forms and open things and do all kinds of stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely! <laughs> <laughs> and it also provides a couple tools for compiling programs and junk. Yeah, there's also, if you look deep into it, there's pictures of Brian dressed <laughs> up in the 1960s, you know. Like the the video with, what's her name? Nancy Sinatra, these boots are made for walking. Uh, <laughs> Brian does a take-by-take -take copy of that video. <laughs> All right, so while this goes through the process of installing, we can probably um, expand our efforts here. Hit the magic fast forward button. <laughs> well, we'll do that. We'll do that. Um, we're also going to go get GTK Sharp. Uh, GTK is the GIMP toolkit, and what that is, that's the, um, it's for building graphical user interfaces using the GIMP toolkit. Now, you can still use WinForms, which is what we are likely going to use, but I think that this does require you to have the GIMP toolkit. So um, we'll save this because um, we have to have the .NET 4.0 installed. And then I think now Mono Develop uses this this thing called Xamarin Studio. So we'll go ahead and install that as well, or download that because we can't install it until we have the other package. And see, the the Xamarin Studio is pretty cool. Those of you guys that start to get excited about this because um you can get you, you can basically make like ios apps and android apps using c sharp which i've done that before it's, it's pretty fun also interesting as of about a month before this video is recorded microsoft and xamarin decided to work together on a partnership for uh, mobile development in visual studio 2013 mm -hmm. so they kind of went together and and kind of cross supported each other so that you can get better ios android and windows mobile development in visual studio Nice. And that'll be a really great thing upcoming. Because, I mean, the, 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 C, the C Sharp iOS stuff is basically just a wrapper API. You're still actually using the same classes and you're still mm -hmm. calling them. All the them, Cocoa stuff, yeah. Yeah, you're still calling them pretty much the exact same way, but, the only, but you're doing it using C Sharp. Which, there is value there, but you're still using the crappy, you know, Apple stuff. 